Hi everybody, welcome to today's video. I've got a quick one for you. We're going to be talking about the best way to carry your camera when it's not in a camera bag. Okay, in order to make this video, I've got three cameras on me today. I've got to find a way of carrying comfortably three cameras. Now, I've got one clip to me here, I've got another one clip to me here, and I've got a handful of accessories that we're going to talk about today. I primarily think that this video will be for anybody looking to buy one of these accessories, anyone that shoots corporate events, portraits, weddings, where you need to carry more than one camera, and also people like me who shoot videos, I constantly have to carry around at least two cameras with me. One will be filming, and then the other one will be for shooting stills. And this is a challenge. Now some of you might be able to relate to this. Most of the time when I'm shooting landscape photography, my camera is mounted on a tripod. And when I move from composition to composition, I might leave the camera on a tripod, fold up the legs and just sling it over my shoulder. And the reason for that is so that I leave my camera out and it's set up and it's ready to go. You can probably relate to this. Some of you might have put your camera back in your bag and you're walking past the composition and you think, can I be bothered to get my camera back out of the bag? I guarantee you've walked past some compositions because you could not be bothered to get your camera back out of the bag. Admit it, I'll admit it, I've done that. Therefore the ambition is always to have your camera in your hand or easily available so that you never miss the shot. Now, I've bought all of these accessories with my own money. I watched plenty of YouTube reviews before I bought them, and now I'm sharing my experience with you. First of all, we need to tackle the strap that comes with your camera. There's a few reasons why you shouldn't use it and keep it on your camera. I haven't got mine, it's probably in the camera box up in the loft, but I held on to that and used that for way too long. First of all, it will advertise the camera that you've got. If you've got a very expensive camera, it will say, I have an expensive camera written across it, and you know some people get a bit nervous about that secondly most importantly perhaps they're not very comfortable at all they're very thin and uh, they're not very ergonomic you kind of wrap it around your neck and then that leaves your camera kind of smashing against your chest or your stomach and third if you're into landscape photography you may not have considered the fact that it's kind of acting as a sail if you're out shooting in windy conditions that camera strap is kind of wanging around in the wind and that could lead to vibration in your images so you need to get rid of your camera strap so let's talk about the solutions. Now, if you are into traditional shoulder straps then you might like this, this is by Peak Design and forgive me if this sounds like an advert for Peak Design, but they make some great products and I bought this with my own money. Now this is what Peak Design called their slide. This is their shoulder strap. This is the key to how Peak Design accessories work with your camera. You get these little red dongles that come with them. You put these on your camera where your camera strap used to thread through. You can put them on each side and now what this does is it unlocks the freedom whether or not you want to have your camera strap on or off. It's just like a, a thumb negotiation. That's it. It's as simple as that. The strap itself is really well made. It's nice and comfortable. It kind of feels like a seat belt. All the buckles are metal. The clip itself is a mixture of metal and plastic. Overall, I think this is a really well designed and made product, so highly recommended. My next recommendation is also from Peak Design. They call this the cuff, and quite simply, it's a wrist strap. You put your arm through there, tighten that. Okay, so you've got your red dongle on your camera. Slide that in there, pull, and now all of a sudden, if you were to drop your camera, you know it's not gonna go anywhere. So it's not technically a way of carrying your camera, but it's more reassurance if you were to drop it. Right, my next recommendation is also from Peak Design. It is their capture clip. Now, if you've watched any of my videos before, you'll see that I've always got a capture clip on my shoulder. And quite simply, get an Arca Swiss compatible plate on the bottom of your camera, and then that just slides in there. You get a reassuring click, and you can't accidentally take this off. In order to get your camera off, Use your thumb, push a button on the side, and you lift your camera up. If that were to worry you, and I've never accidentally taken this out of the clip at all, you can twist that so you can't accidentally press the button with your thumb. So this, I wish I discovered this earlier in life. This is an absolute lifesaver, especially if you're into making video, because predominantly I have a microphone on top of the camera. You cannot put a camera set up like this with a microphone away in a camera bag. So this, this is the dilemma. This is essentially why I had to figure out ways of carrying a camera without putting it away in a camera bag. 
The next recommendation is the Black Rapid Sport Breathe. Now I'm wearing this at the moment and quite simply it's a very well made shoulder strap. It's got a restraint here which you can take on and off and you will need to take any base plates that you've got off your camera and uh, quite simply you just screw this into the bottom of your camera thread and then this is now attached to you. The strap goes all the way round so it starts on your shoulder you've got this softening pad and then it goes under your arm and then back round again and this is very very functional essentially your camera is now tethered to this and what is nice is you've got this restraint strap so on the strap itself you can slide that down and that means that the camera will no longer go up and down the strap so that is now very much tethered to your hip which is a good place because if you're walking around and not using your camera that means your camera is not kind of just swinging around as much this is very restrained and stuck to your hip now so I want to take a picture up to the eye like that back down to the hip it's that easy and you can see why people would invest in one of these and the thing is if you're using this with a very big lens let's say a 70 to 200 or 100 to 400 then you've got the collar mount tripod attachment there so the center of gravity is kind of still in the right place uh, it's not going to be swinging around too much and it's still going to be at your hip Right, now the next one we're talking about, you have to be comfortable wearing it because it's not sexy, okay, but it's very practical. We're talking about the Spider Holster V2. Now I've got this on my waist right now, and before I bought this, I watched another YouTube video, another review. If I can find it, I'll put it in the link in the description below. I think the person in this video is a chiropractor or a physiotherapist, and they were talking about physically on your body, where is the best place to be adding weight to? And the conclusion was on your hips. So far all of the accessories that I've been showing you, it bears weight onto your neck, over your shoulders, around your wrist. Putting weight around your waist does make sense and that's why if you've ever carried a heavy camera bag, you get the chest restraints but as soon as you put a waist support on, it really does distribute the weight of a heavy camera bag. So that is why I'm adding this into the mix because actually it's the most comfortable of all of them. So this is what the Spider Holster 2 version 2 looks like. On my left hand side is their additional lens pouch that's not a part of the holster system but if I want to go out with one camera and two lenses I've got one lens on the camera and then I've got another one in the side pouch and it kind of balances out the weight nicely as well. If you want to mount a camera to the Spider Holster V2 you're going to have to take whatever plate you've got off the bottom of your camera and it comes with this specialist holster system. Uh, the good thing is included was included is an allen key to take this on and off so that's good that is built into the actual plate itself you can see here it's got the option for a left and a right i guess that's so that you can have two of these holder systems and you can have a camera on each side of your hip this little nub in here quite simply just slides in here like so. This is a genuine carrying system. You want to be taking pictures, you've got your camera out. Alternatively, you want to put it away. It's as quick as that. Genuinely feel like a cowboy whenever I use this. Just like the Black Rapid, this has got a really nice, comfortable position for your camera. You can see here, the camera's not rubbing against anything metal either and if you are for some reason concerned that you might accidentally knock this out which you can't really you've got to lift it up there is a safety catch on here push that across and you can no longer take it out I've just remembered that there's another item that's worthy of this list it's by the company spider again and if you're used to carrying your tripod around and you want your tripod hand back then you should look into this this goes on your belt and on your tripod you attach this and it's got these two knuckles on it and quite simply if you don't want to carry a tripod anymore that now clips to your belt and you've got your tripod hands back not exactly another way of carrying a camera but definitely a helpful accessory 
Now the final option, which is not a recommendation as such because I've not used them, is the double harness system. So what I did is I'll overlay a few examples that I'll find on the internet. Very simply, you just have a harness and there's a camera attached to that harness on each side. All of the products that I've talked about in this video I would recommend, but I think that there is a scale depending upon how heavy your gear is and how long you intend on carrying it for. All right, and just to prove a point, look, I've got two free hands and I've got access to two cameras very easily. I've got one on the capture clip right there and then I've got another one at my hip here that is how quick and easy it should be to get to your camera so that you never miss an opportunity I see the wrist strap and the shoulder strap as a kind of temporary solution not for long use alternatively if you've got a heavy kit or you're going to be out for a long time then I would look at either the black rapid or the spider pro v2 and that way you kind of you're putting the weight where it needs to be, whereas the capture clip is good for carrying around, say, a full frame camera and a medium sized lens. Anything like a 70 to 200, I think, is going to be a bit overwhelming, kind of on one side of your body. And then I would start to look at the Black Rapid or the Spider V2. Hopefully, this video helped you out. I'll put a link to everything in the description. I'm not making any money off that. I'm just making this video to help you guys out and share my experiences. If you've got any questions, let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you in the next video.